kids to the Lindsay Allen Show story time. Now we're all familiar with the old story about the three little pigs. And I was at Barnes and Noble the other day and I ran across the sequel to The Three Little Pigs, another old classic called The Three Little Pigs Adventures in Joint Tenancy. Okay, let's dive in. Once there were three little pigs. The pigs used to be prolific builders, but they fell on hard times during the recession and lost nearly everything. They were living in houses made of straws and sticks. Can you believe that? One day, the three pigs inherited a large piece of acreage from a long lost uncle. There was 100 acres in North Idaho with views of Lake Coeur d'Alene. Woohoo! shouted the three pigs. Our misfortunes have turned around. And it did seem so. Initially, the pigs decided to divide the land into thirds in equal portions for each of the three pigs. They were each going to build their dream home and live off the land. Unfortunately, they did not have a tenant in common agreement, which would have laid out the rules and procedures for the co-ownership of the property. Differences in how the land should be split, how it should be developed, and for what it should be used for varied between the three brothers. After months of disagreement, one of the brothers wanted out. He demanded the other brothers buy him out of his portion of the inherited land. But again, they had no agreement on how to exit this tenant in common situation. The only recourse the one brother had was to file a partition suit and see if the courts could help resolve their issues. Ultimately, the oldest two brothers agreed to purchase the youngest pig's portion for fair market value and they restructured their existing ownership agreement to enable both pigs to use the land as they saw fit. The moral of the story here, excuse me, the moral of the story here is that if you intend to pass along property to an heir, or if you inherited or purchased property with multiple owners, it's always best to determine the best way to take title, and if joint tenant in common is ultimately the ownership formula that you agree on, make sure there is an agreement in place for the use and termination of ownership status. Thank you for joining me for the Lindsay Allen Show story time in our reading of The Three Little Pigs Adventures in Joint Tenancy.